Crumbled Oroville Dam spillway has returned to its full glory. Water is now flowing through the spillway for the first time since a near catastrophe more than two years ago. Now, with water gushing out of the spillway, along with rain and snow melt, we can now expect river levels to rise. CBS 13's Rachel Wolf has more from the banks of the Feather River. With water now rushing out of the Oroville spillway, combined with more rain on the way and a heavy snowpack, expect river levels to rise, like here at the Feather River. You know, what happened today is actually normal, except for the fact that the spillway hasn't been open in two years. Drone video shows the awesome power of Mother Nature. After the gates were opened at the Oroville spillway and water began pouring out for the first time since the $1.1 billion reconstruction project began. I think they did a good job, probably. I don't think they'd do it twice. You know, they wouldn't want to do it another time. The rolls live in bigs. They were forced to evacuate along with hundreds of thousands of others when many feared the spillway would collapse after record rainfall in February 2017. Were you a little nervous when that one came? Yeah, we were. Yeah, because of all the traffic and everything, yeah. Since then, the state has worked to redesign the spillway using 21st century engineering. The concrete is now seven and a half feet thick and reinforced with 12 and a half million pounds of steel. There are also internal devices to monitor pressure and possible movement. We expect it to run, you know, as designed and we're prepared. Tuesday, 8,300 cubic feet per second was being released into the Feather River. Think of one cubic foot like a basketball. That's 8,300 basketballs per second coming out at once. And with more rain and snow melt, that number is expected to rise, especially in downstream communities. We may increase flows to the Feather River up to 40,000 to 60,000 cubic feet per second later this week to manage increased inflows from the storms. It's something old timers around here have seen spring after spring. Are you worried? Nope. I'm from the high country. <laughs> I'm, I'm above all this. Didn't bother me at all. No. No. Full confident in them. Those repairs on the spillway cost $1.1 billion. Now, the state asked FEMA to pick up $639 million of that. FEMA said it would only pay for about half of that, saying that there was damage done to the spillway prior to 2017. Local water agencies are going to have to cover that cost.